Hi, Lee Phillips here. I want to talk to you for a minute about what we call a certification of trust or a uh, summary of the trust. The question is, when you go to the brokerage house, when you go to the bank account, uh, the, the bank, they want to see the trust. And uh, what do they need? What should you give them? That's the question I always get, and it depends upon the bank, actually. Make sure you get my ebook on how to use a trust. I'm going to explain stuff like this in that so you can, can see that. But uh, when I first started, what, 40 years ago doing these trust things, the banks didn't know anything about the trust. And I would have to go down to the bank and say, bank, I've done a trust for this client. They need to change their bank account to the name of the trust so that we don't go through probate. You know all that. But the trust has to be there at the bank because when the bank opens the checking account in the name of the trust, they are agreeing that they will govern that account by the terms of this trust, this document. And if you amend the document, if you restate the document, whatever, you need to go down to the bank and say, hey bank, we're not dealing with that copy of the trust anymore we're dealing with a new copy of the trust. So how does the bank know what this trust is? And when I'd first try and get clients in, try and get the bank account in the name of the trust, the bank would say, okay, we need a copy of the trust. And this is back way before internet, way before computers almost. <laughs> That's ugly. <coughs> but they would take a Xerox copy of the entire trust. And over the years, the banks got a lot of paper. And when it became harder for them to store all this paper, they said, whoa, whoa, time out, time out, wait a minute. We don't want a full copy of the trust anymore. Give us a summary of the trust. What the bank needs to know is the name of the trust, the date of the trust, and who the trustees are. They also need to know who the successor trustees are going to be. So that when your kid shows up at the bank after you die and says, mom's dead, dad's dead, we got to get into the bank account, the bank will go in the back and they will get their copy of the trust and they will read on it that Johnny is the successor trustee. They'll come back out and say, Johnny, you got any ID? Sign here. Because they've agreed that they're going to govern that account by the terms of that trust. They didn't want all the paper. They started to say, give us a summary. And it's called a certification of trust in many circles, or a summary of the trust, or whatever you want to call it, whatever the bank calls it. And they also, so they need the name, the date, the trustees, the co-trustees, and the other piece they need is what are the powers of the trustees? What can they do? Can they open bank accounts? Can they borrow? Can they do this? Can they do that? How do they interact with the bank? So, bank had too much paper. They went to, okay, give us a summary of the trust. Give us the certification of trust. And that's three, four pages. They take a copy of that. It gives them what they need. They don't care about how you divide it up. Frankly, it's none of their business. They're not going to look at it anyway. And now, the certification of trust still works and I still make out certifications of trust for everybody. You sign it and say this is a, a summary of my trust <coughs> and the uh, I think I've got long COVID. I don't know. I keep coughing. But uh, the bank now says some of them are saying I, I want a full copy of the trust because what they're doing is they're scanning it and they don't need the paper anymore, so they can store it. So whether the bank asks for a summary, the certification of trust, or today they're asking for the full trust again. Give them whatever they want. Uh, the bank isn't gonna violate your privacy, or they shouldn't be anyway, and uh, they need to know at least some of the stuff that's in the trust. And frankly, as I tell many clients, he who has the 
money makes the rules. So if your bank is saying, I've got to have a copy of the trust, fine, give them a copy of the trust. If they say, I want a certification, I want a summary of the trust, fine, give them a summary of the trust. What you want to do is just do your banking under the name of the trust, the checking account, the savings account, the safe deposit box, all the rest of this stuff, okay? Now don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell and toot the horn and get your copy of how to use a trust. Uh, we don't sell your information, it's it's your copy and, and that's as far as we go. At any rate, good to talk to you and we're talking about the certification of trusts.